Hi, today I have prepared very simple question. This is true false question and you have 50% chances to um, answer this uh, question correctly even if you don't know uh, the true answer. And uh, here is a question during replication primase adds an RNA primer to DNA. So is it true or false? Imagine that we have a replication bubble, so here would be uh, double-stranded DNA and here is a replication bubble and during re uh, early stage of the uh, replication bubble a new strand of the DNA would start to build on each uh, strand of the DNA so first of all uh, primer would be added so here we have primer here and primer here so each strand of the DNA would be replicated so uh, new primers would be added that is going to be of course uh, uh, complementary to the DNA strand uh, for each new strand and this would used by uh, DNA polymerase in order to build a new strand of the DNA that would be complementary for each uh, old strand of DNA and this is would be early stage so this is going to be stage one and at the stage two we may see that a replication bubble would grow and at this stage you would see that this uh, complementary primers would be used in order to build new strands of the DNA. So one strand would gr grow in this direction, another one would grow in this direction, and this would grow continuously. So that gives us a uh, five prime end here and three prime end of the primer here. And of course, uh, on the overall uh, direction would be five to three so a uh, new DNA strand would grow continuously from 5 to 3 uh, direction, 5 to 3 prime direction. And of course here we also have 5 prime end and 3 prime end here of the primer. And on the overall 3 prime end going to be here and 5 prime end going to be here. And now let me show you the third stage and I'm going to use um, large scale of the same picture. Of course all these processes going to be um, happen simultaneously. So here we have one primer and here we have the second primer and as you see in these directions this would grow continuously and also we know that this is going to be 5 prime end of the primer 3 prime end of the primer here would be 3 prime end of the new strand of the DNA and of course 5 prime end here 3 prime end here and 3 prime end of the new strand of the DNA and because two strands of the DNA are complementary reverse complementary that means that this uh, end of the uh, strand of the DNA uh, that is uh, template strand of the DNA this is going to be 5 prime end and you see we have reverse order here and that gives us this end this is going to be 3 prime end 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here. So now uh, what we also can say is that uh, here uh, we cannot uh, extend the strand of the DNA continuously in this direction because new strand of the DNA only grows uh, in direction from uh, 5 prime end to 3 prime end. So how uh, 
new strand of the DNA would grow in this direction and just new primers would be added and each primer would have 5 and 3 prime end and new strand of the DNA in this direction would grow until this end would meet with the other end of another primer and then another primer would be added here and once again this strand of the DNA would be extended in this direction so as you see primer would be added in this fashion but a uh, new strand of the DNA would grow in the reverse uh, direction and the same is going to happen here so every time new new primer would be added this is going to be 5 prime end and 3 prime end and we know that a new strand of the DNA would grow from 5 to 3 prime end so when this end of the double stranded DNA would open new primers would be added and um, new strand of the DNA would grow in the reverse order those as you see on the overall uh, movement would be in this direction and now back to our question uh, during replication primates add an RNA primer to DNA and if you were thinking that this is these primers would be DNA primers this is not so this is RNA primers so this is R and a primers and with uh, pink color here would be DNA strands and because this primer is going to be RNA primers I use a different color so later this RNA primers would be removed with the help of 5-3 prime exonuclease and DNA polymerase would replace this uh, RNA basis with DNA basis and in other words we call primase um, RNA polymerase so we can say that this is true the, and all the primers during replication by nature would be RNA not uh, DNA primers and this is all for today thank you for attention Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.